Oh boy, here we go. All right. Uh, second recording time because I accidentally deleted the first recording. Whoop de doo. Yay me. Um. Anyways, this is Universes Saitama vs. Captain Underpants. This was a fight I was really hyped for. I, I had this idea before Universes even started, and today I was just like, or the day I started working on it, I was just like, you know what? It's time. Um, but before I get into the production of the actual episode itself, there's something I want to say. I mean, I'll go more in depth into this in a future video, possibly tomorrow, maybe. Um, but I will say that, um, remember when I first brought back universes in late July, and now it's like mid-August, not that far away, you should remember still. Um, I said universes would take a while, well, a lot longer to make this time than it did before, like, as long as Death Metal. Not longer than Death Metal, don't worry. I promise I'll never take longer than Death Metal for an episode to come out. Well, I don't promise, because, I know, who knows, things could happen, but I'll try. I'll try to make these not take as long as death pedal but if you remember i said that that but i didn't really follow through with it because episodes have been coming out week after week after week like bam 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 no problem so now is about the time where the slowdown is going to occur because things are getting on a smoother schedule around here and while that would make you think that would make episodes easier to come out and make them come out faster um, because there's a smoother schedule around here, I'll be able to work on other stuff more. Um, I want to do more stuff with my voice acting, because that's starting to go somewhere a little bit, not much, but a little bit, so hopefully I can keep growing that. <laughs> um, but also, you know those, uh, Battle Royale guys, just another crossover fighting show? They got some big stuff coming that I don't want to spoil or say, because it might be classified information and I don't want to say anything without their okay so all i'll say is that they've got big stuff coming and i'm going to be doing stuff for them uh, more i'm going to focus more on them because they're super cool guys and they're my friends and they're my buds oh and also they had a panel at a con recently and it was super cool they answered questions they showed previews and sneak peeks and all that it was an actual panel they're an actual cool team people like, screw attack. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot more with them. And I have a lot more ideas that I want to work on. Besides just universes. But it's still going to come out. I'm never just going to flat out stop universes. Because um, I still love to do it very, very much. I just got to chill out. Um, so yeah, there, the slowdown is going to start occurring now. I mean, the next episode is pretty much filler. It'll come out slow, then the one after that will come out slow, yada yada. But they'll still come out. So just be patient, and I hope you enjoy the future content that comes. Now it's time for Saitama vs. Captain Underpants. <clears throat> uh, I am a huge fan of One Punch Man. I like the webcomic and manga and anime very much. The, the only problem I have with, with it is that it's trying to parody the shonen anime stuff, but it ends up becoming a shonen anime by doing that. Um, so it's basically becoming what it's parodying, kind of ruining the joke, but it's still fun to watch. It's enjoyable, whether it's feeling more or less like a parody. And I like One Punch Man a lot. They have, they had an even record. They had one loss thanks to Boros, but one win thanks to Tatsumaki. And now it's two losses thanks to Saitama. Poor, poor Saitama. And I'm actually surprised there's not a flame war in the <coughs> comment section. Excuse me. I'm surprised there's not a flame war in the comment section because you know who lost. Well, I just said who lost, Saitama. Uh, but it was, it's surprisingly tame in the comment section below. There's like 80 likes, over 80 likes, and less than 10 dislikes. It is incredibly positive for what I, was th for what I thought it was going to be. Um, so wowie wow. Oh, and another thing is Saitama's star level thing. I don't believe Saitama is star level. I know a guidebook says so, but one and Murata have nothing to do with that guidebook. They contributed interviews that happened during the time of the making of that guidebook, but they never confirmed anything in that guidebook to be true. It was verified by Viz Media, but not by one or Murata themselves. Also, it could easily be a mistranslation anyways, because Hoshi in Japan, the kanji, is the same for both star and planet. So Boros could have said he was going to destroy the planet and not a star, because Hoshi is the same for both of them. 
And since the kanji for surface wiping was also next to Hoshi, it's obviously meaning he was talking about wiping off the surface of the planet, not destroying a star. And it makes sense within the context, because he was aiming at the planet. And why on earth would he destroy a star if he was trying to kill Saitama on planet Earth? So yeah, Boros and Saitama, they're definitely only planet level, no star level nonsense. Because Hoshi means star and planet, uh, there's a lot of inconsistencies. One has only ever confirmed them to be planet level, Saitama's only ever shown to be planet level, and Wano Murata never had anything to do with that guidebook. Hoshi means star and planet. In fact, Hoshi can even mean the specific names of a planet like Pluto, Mercury, Earth. So Hoshi means a lot of different things, which makes it more likely that it was a mistranslation to star. Star is just the most common usage of Hoshi, but in different contexts, Hoshi can mean planet, Earth, yada yada. Um, but yeah, as for Captain Underpants, I like Captain Underpants a lot. Um, I read his books a lot as a kid, but kind of fell off uh, halfway through. Uh, I did enjoy the movie, though, and I checked out some the rest of the books when making this episode. Um, but there was this insane calculation that I came up with. Like, everyone had Captain Underpants at planet level at most because Super Diaper, Super Diaper Baby and Diaper Dog pushed the planet Earth, so it's like Captain Underpants is planet level. That's his top power, right? But no, I, I discovered that Captain Underpants was flung from his home planet into Earth. That's gotta hurt. So I decided to do a calculation uh, to find out how, how exactly tough he was for surviving that impact. And it came out to around dwarf star level. I experimented with different weights and stuff because he was a newborn at the time, so the weight of a newborn is 4 kilograms. But then I realized he could talk. And babies don't start to talk until they're 18 months old, so I decided to do the weight of that, which was 11 kilograms. So measuring all these different distances and weights set a wide range of power. So I decided to stick it on the lower end because the lowest it went was large planet, and the highest it went was was solar system level, and that was a low-balled feat because I assumed he was right outside our galaxy. If I put him in a different galaxy, it might have been solar system, multi-solar system level or galaxy level, so who knows how powerful that impact would have been. Um, whew, but yeah, so the low end was large planet and high end was solar system level, so I decided to stick it somewhere in the middle but on the lower end, so I could have stuck it at star level, but I decided, nah, let's put it at dwarf star level just to give Saitama at least the power advantage, because he has nothing otherwise. Um, so yeah, that was interesting. And also, as you heard earlier, Facts from Battle Royale just made a cameo here. I voice him in case you couldn't tell. Um, so yeah, that was Captain Underpants vs. Saitama. And next up we have Paul Phoenix from Tekken vs. Uh, Guile from Street Fighter. And it's a filler matchup. Because yeah, it's another Street Fighter Cross Tekken matchup, whatever, I've done those before. They're nothing new, no big deal, just side characters from the series fighting each other. And it's gonna be over before you know it. So it's just a filler episode. And the reason why is because the episode after that is super hype, and I wanted to take some extra time just to double check on my research for it. I mean, I already have the research done. I just wanted to double check on it to make sure everything was A-OK -okay with it. So I want to take extra time because this is the next matchup after Paul Phoenix versus Guile is one I'm super duper hyped for. You'll like it. Um, I don't want to spoil anything, I don't want to spoil what it is, but I will say it involves time manipulators. The time manipulation is not what they're known for, so don't think it's like Entropy from Crash Bandicoot versus Clockwork from Danny Phantom or anything. So don't think it's anything like that. Um, they can manipulate time, but time manipulation is not their most iconic aspect. It's not the thing about them that makes them stand out. They just have the ability to do it. Um, but yeah, that matchup's gonna be hype, so just bear through the slowdown of Paul vs. Guile. That'll take, a that'll take a while to come out, and then the episode after that will take a while to come out. Because the slowdown's happening, but lots of cool stuff's gonna come in the future. Wow, I had lots of stuff to talk about this commentary. Huh. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll go more in depth on why the slowdown is occurring later on, and what my deal is with the Battle Royale guys, just another crossover fighting show, whatever, on a later date in a different video when the time is right, and see you guys later. Gotta turn it off. Turn it off.